So here we are for the finale of the BB Bots audience Zoom. And I'm so excited. We have got so many housemates with us tonight. It's like a comic con of Big Brother housemates. It really is. We've got, I mean, we've got, we've got from BB9, we've got Rebecca Bex Shiner. From the same series, we've got, she loves her cooking, she does. It's Katrea Cat Cassiopa. Yay! Yay! <laughs> and then we've got, we've got from uh, Celebrity Big Brother 14, we've got um, the one and only Kelly Maloney with us. So good to have Yay! you. Slipped up straight away. Um, we've also got a return visit from D. Kelly. Now, I, I thought, I thought, I thought D. D came D. back D. because <laughs> she enjoyed her first visit so much, but I know for a fact it's only to stalk. Victor. Victor. <laughs> 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 well. Welcome everyone. Thank you, thank you, Welcome. thank you. Oh, amazing. So, so I think hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There what? was no clap. You said Victor Boo. Oh, and it was, uh, one solitary, <laughs> one solitary <laughs> clap. Right? I don't know what it was, Vic. They just heard the boo in it, boo, and they were going to boo instead of clap. I mean, <laughs> that's what it in was. My own house. <laughs> anyway, oh, don't I start a fight, Victor. Yeah, we'll get to that. I'm I sure. Know. Listen, we 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 got so much to talk about. Everyone wants to ask questions. Everyone can ask questions. So, what we're just going to say about the show we've just seen on um, on uh, E4's best ever shows. Um, I want to go straight to Victor about this because. I want to know how you feel. They've shown very tame episodes, and I realise the reason they've done that. But do you think there would have been more of a buzz had they shown, for example, your fight night, Kinger in the garden? What's your views, Vic? Um, well, just to be honest, I mean, I think, I think in, in, in the times we're living in, they just don't want to deal with the potential fallout or the, the potential yeah, outrage or the campaigns. Wow, 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 all of that stuff. Because, in fact, as, as, much as, as much as people would like to see it, there's going to be people who want to see it who are then going to jump online and, and, or call Ofcom. And yeah. they, they, just don't want, they just don't want the negative publicity oh, in it. Yeah, so yeah. let's the, just, the let's just is, keep it. The problem is, of course, Big, Big Brother was built on those sort of episodes, weren't they? I mean, it, it became yeah. infamous for it, and that really got the brand name going, didn't it? Yeah, but that, that's also what destroyed it as well. You know it's what I mean? At, at first, it started off as some kind of social experiment where you get, you get um, your everyday chap, you know, some guy from an office and some, some girl who's a doctor. Do you know what I mean? And then it turned into, you know, just the start of the freak show was, was my one. You know, they, 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 had, they, had a boring, they had a boring, they had a boring year the year before that, that nearly killed them. That's and then, right. You know, yes. In their desperation, they turned to a group of people they couldn't possibly understand and couldn't control. Control, yeah. And, and then after that, they kept trying to recreate the chaos and, and control mm. it. And it, it just got more and more, you know, uh, yeah. so, so I mean, cartoonish. If they, were to, if they were to bring it back, Victor, which way do they go? I mean, you can't have just sanitised episodes, can you? Well, you can't, and 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 that's 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 the difference. Like they're they're, they're kind of scared in, in ways that Geordie yeah. Shaw and, and some of these other, you know, um, Love Love Island's the new Big Brother now. Look, Big, Big Brother can't, they can't match that. They can't, they can't match that. Yeah, they, yeah. they, they can't. Wow. No, 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 no. But people, but people, no. but people get it on, and, and they're no. all good looking. No. That's all. No, it's it. it. too perfect. I actually, yeah, I know it's too perfect. Too pretty. That was the difference between Big Brother and Love Island. We had diversity, mm. and there was different right. people in Big Brother. It was completely yeah. different. Yeah, yeah Big Big Brother's still much more real, isn't it? It's much more real than yeah. Love Island. Yeah. Yeah. No, it wasn't. But hold on, hold on. By, by the end, Big Brother was, 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 no, Big was, was Big, Hold on, hold on, hold on. By the end, Big Brother was getting. Big Brother was, was running onto Instagram and social media and, and getting people and chucking them on and, and, and people who have been on other reality TV shows and, and, and putting them into the, the, the normal uh, civilian one. They corrupted their own process doing stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? Please, you know, come on, guys. Did, man. Yeah, you're right. If you look, oh, man, Big Brother it, it, it was, it was, it was so contrived. With, yeah. It was so contrived. The Big but the Brother people changed seem more the Channel real. 4 to Channel 5, at the start, didn't they? It at completely the start, changed. 
at the start, at the start, the people were real, and then, and then by the end, yeah. at the end of it, yeah. started yeah. thinking yeah. it was it was a way into something, yeah. or, or, or 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 it just got weird, didn't it? And, and yeah. that's, yeah. that's no disrespect. In fact, no you're disrespect not going to get everybody. a sixty-year-old in Love Island or forty-five-year-old. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Man, why not? Angela Bassett, Halle Berry. If they were there, I'd be there. Can I can I just can I just bring in? Kelly Maloney, oh, Kelly, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you so much for being with us. You, you had a bit of a journey in your series. Um, well, I, I actually think Big Brother got it wrong when they decided to edit the show and do recordings instead of showing it live. Because, yeah. you know, yeah. I've, um, I've not really watched much of my Big Brother because I, I, I'd never actually watched Big Brother until I went in it. The only one I ever watched was the very first episode with the with the trans woman, Paul Tegeza, that won it. No, that wasn't the first one, that wasn't the first Yeah, because yeah, it was Because no Nadia, that's it, because it was yeah. a trans woman, so I was very fascinated and I watched that. And then the next time I, I ever saw Big Brother was when I, uh, when Dee found me absolutely drunk, sitting on the toilet seat in episode 14, if I'm not <laughs> <laughs> Let, let me ask you, Kelly. Kelly, have you got any regrets about doing Big Brother? Yeah, I I went in there too soon. I wasn't ready for Big Brother, right. um, but it helped me, and I was very lucky that I had Dee in there, and I had Claire King, unfortunately, that had to leave because she was mm. ill, and yeah. I had Adele from um, Bewitched. Yeah. And, yes. and to yeah. be honest, yeah. Yeah. Them, they really helped me, and it, and and Lorraine Goodyear was it Lorraine uh, Lauren Lauren oh, sorry, Lauren Goodyear, Goodyear. Yeah. yeah she was very good, and they really helped me develop myself because there was still a lot of Frank Maloney when I went in there, and you yeah. know the runnings I had with a certain dancer brought out, <laughs> mm -hmm. brought out Frank Maloney a lot, and and yeah. I honestly think the the way they edited and showed it, they didn't really show the struggle and the stress that I was going through, yeah. and the and the coming to terms, you know, because my daughters watched every episode because yeah. it, technically that was the first now, time. I mean, my... health, other people from the outside accept your transition and what you were going through, and people that wouldn't normally accept it, it's it opened their eyes, and mm. that you've done a great justice for everybody. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. right. That's Thank right. You. But I it was a struggle. Say, I mean, it was I, a struggle, and it was many times, you know. And and I, when I, I've watched a little bit, and you know, my agent said, Kelly and my counselor, because obviously I had counselling every day, and they were, and um, when I came back, because the counselors wasn't allowed to tell me how the show was going, or how yeah. I was behaving. But yeah. when I came out, they said, Kelly, why did you want to keep coming out? You know, and and seriously. From the minute I sobered up after the first night when I was, well, I don't even remember. I don't even remember the first night, so we'll forget that. Um, but the minute I sobered up, I actually wanted to leave the house. I, I, I realised I'd made a terrible mistake going in there. But you as, didn't. You did not make the mistake. No, but personally, I felt I made yeah. But because of the support I had from the likes of Dee, you know, and I'm privileged to say... I've remained very good friends with Dee. You know, she's come to my house here in Portugal. We meet regular when I come to Birmingham for boxing. And um, and even today, you know, I know, I think Dee's a little bit older than me, but I don't know. I won't. I'm a little bit older than Dee, but I refer to Dee as my very special auntie Dee, you know. Yeah. Uh, I tell you what I do remember, Kelly. I, I recall when you were evicted and you were guest in the box studio, you, you came over to the audience and you shook all our hands. Obviously, yes. you wouldn't be shaking hands today, but for other yeah. reasons. <laughs> but, but I can only recall yourself and Eamon Holmes and Jedward coming into the audience and shaking all our hands and yeah. everyone else yeah. sat yeah. the yeah. yeah. rest did. of the audience. But I thought that was Brilliant. We she did. That. I was there, yeah, yeah, and it was very nice. It was you came across very well, and um, I, I don't think that you should have had any regret to be in there because um, everybody took to you. I never knew of you as the previous life. Um, so I didn't know anything, anything of the bo boxing promoter side beforehand. I only ever saw you and met you as you are now. So you are a wonderful person. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. We can just bring in, um, we'll just go to uh, Cat Woo! Cookies. 
So so nice that you joined us tonight. Um, I was there when you went into the house. That was the series. Um, I was standing down in the audience by Davina. How how was it for you? You you seem to have a great time and you made everyone laugh. Yes, it's fun. It is a happy house, right there. You <laughs> 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 can't help but smile when cats are around. Exactly. You just um, can't help it. It gives you a reward. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> and and cat, you were in the same house. <laughs> Same house as Bex. How did you get on the two of you? Oh no, she drove me nuts. <laughs> did she? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but no. Oh, I, oh no, I couldn't cope. I couldn't cope. I, I think. I think for me, I thought it was it was a massive like gimmick at the time. But now knowing Cat, now I know that that's just the way she is. I can't wait till this is over because I've just had a baby, so I haven't been able to go and see Cat do her um, comedy yet. Uh, but I am coming as soon as um, as soon as all this is over. Now I'm not pregnant anymore. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations on the baby. She just had a gorgeous baby. Uh, the what? Oh. Did you just? Oh, yeah. Pardon? <laughs> <laughs> She said you had a gorgeous baby. Oh, yes, thank you. <laughs> now, now, Bex, Bex, we, we saw quite a lot of you in Big Brother House. Um, yeah! Literally, <laughs> That's um, it! <laughs> well, I didn't say that, but, you know, you, can say, you take the conversation whenever you want. <laughs> but, I mean, you seem to have a very good time in there. Yeah, I mean, I, I did... I, it changed my life. I've never gone back to work, you know, so... Yeah. For me, it's um, <laughs> I've never gone back, and it's it's oh. been amazing. But I just want to say one thing. Yeah. I, I did watch the other night, and I did hear what Luke said. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Listen, you've got the right to reply, Bex. You've got the right. So I'm going to. I'm going right to say my. I'm going to say my piece. Please do. Please do. Oh, I was drama. Thinking, yes, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, I was thinking go. the other day. You know what? Yeah. Wouldn't it be fun if me and Luke met up and filmed it and put it out there to our social media? Bygones be got bygones. I've yeah. got no issue with him. Like, and then I it's... watched this and I thought, you, you sneaky little, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to, I want to let you know that the only reason he doesn't like me was because I split up with him. Like there's no oh, other reason. Oh, 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 oh. Rejection, yeah, rejection right. hurts. So he's so bitter about it. He used to hack my Facebook account. He still did two years ago try to hack my account. He took money out of my bank account. Oh, I swear oh, to God, this is all true. Oh, he, he took money out of my oh, bank. He cancelled my car insurance, my phone contract. He literally ruined my life. So you know what? Fuck. You and what? Oh, oh, you oh, 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 I've never gone back to my previous job. No. I've got I've got a quite big following on um, OnlyFans. I still get naked and stuff, you know. Yeah, I've oh, noticed a 50% offer. Um, do I get an extra discount, <laughs> Bex? Oh, my oh, God, you're in half price at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I do quite well, so, yeah. I'm not sure the wife will approve, though. I've been doing it with Dean. Definitely not. Let's, <laughs> let's, 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 let's go to Dean Kelly to calm it down a bit. Oh, send me the link. Dean. Dee, are you um, still fangirling uh, Victor? I am fangirling Victor. Victor, I swear to God, has got to be one of my most favourite housemates ever. <laughs> <laughs> well, I knew she was going to say that. <laughs> you, got, you got very, you got very good taste. You got very good taste. <laughs> <laughs> Get over yourself, big man. <laughs> over the years, Victor. But do you know what I think it is? 
I think it's because, I mean, even with regards to Bex as well, because I do know Bex, and obviously I've got another little baby that I'm auntie to, <coughs> I always will be, God bless her. You know she can run away to me whenever she wants, Bex. Um, but it's about being real. About, exactly. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I was like, Big Brother panicked. But at the end of the day, if you put in complete strangers into a house together, which is what they mm. did, they got what they were going to get, which is drama. Yeah. Not oh, everyone. it's fab TV! Oh, yeah. it's yeah. Right here. And Victor was real. He is just real. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I yeah. Yeah. Him Do you know what he was like? Yeah. You know what? I remember that. Listen, let's, let's I should, try you know out. what? Sizzle I should, my nizzle. I should bring you to mine every morning. Every morning bring you out to talk to me and motivate me like that. Definitely. Little bit of that and some Tina Turner. Let's go. I love a bit of Tina. Let's go. Some questions. Questions. Teresa. And do you know something? Your son is beautiful. And you're a great dad. And I know you're a great dad. Thank you. Thank you. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> are, you know what I'm saying? It's like people grow up, and even Bex, Kelly knows how I feel about her. I love the bone. Thank that. you very much. Appreciate I that. Really love it's her. a lovely compliment. Amazing. I'm a bit concerned. Oh. I, yeah, I, come on, it was I, fab I, TV. I, I, it was I, just I, amazing te TV, that episode. So I, will echo, I will echo what you Amazing. I've yeah. As Dee said, you're real. Completely I'm real. I've known Dee. Dee. I've known Dee. Dee. Liar. <laughs> He's a sound dude. So right. Can we, can we get some questions from the audience? I think Rob and Teresa might have questions. Excellent. Rob? Oh, yeah. uh, we're having problems with the sound there, I think. Corinne, let's go can to Corinne. Can I just say, I mean, it's not actually a question. What I just want to say is, if it wasn't for you lot that went into the house, Big Brother wouldn't have been what it was, okay? Mm. And you've exactly. all got characters, you're all fantastic people, and I'm just so grateful because BB Bots wouldn't have been without Big Brother, okay? And yeah. you're all fantastic, honestly, for going in the house. I don't know if you do it again, but I just, I I just think you're all fantastic doing that. <laughs> Thank you very much. I would have got more sleep without watching Big Brother. I used to watch it constantly. <laughs> okay. And I can, I can still remember you were going mad. You were still up going, uh, 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 I just remember it was the most memorable moment. For one All question, right. would, you, would you actually go back into the house, each one of you? Would you go back in and who would you have with you? One person to choose. I went, with, went back in. I probably, I would go back in. Um, with Luke. Yeah, with you Luke. know what? Fucking yeah, with Luke. I'd love that. <laughs> I would. I'd love to do that. I'd love to go back in with Luke and just see what happens. You know what I mean? Obviously, I wouldn't get rid of. I would have gone and said, "There's a little too happy." But um, <laughs> no, that I think it'd be funny. Yeah, I think that'd be funny. <laughs> it wouldn't be Big Brother. It'd be UFC if you went in there with Luke. Kelly, who would you choose? Um, I'm not. I'm not sure. I'd like to go back into the Big Brother. Oh, no. oh, but it might be different I, now. Yeah, I, I. I do think that I'd be more secure in there. I'd yeah. actually like to go back in with James Jordan and teach him some manners. Oh, oh. 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 Never Kelly. Well done. <laughs> Let's go to Karen Cummings. I think Karen Cummings has got a question. I think um, maybe Kat, is Cat going to answer that question as well? Cat, are you? Yes, darling, you can I, go back in. I really, really love Rylan, and I like his life. <laughs> he really oh. for me. So if I could pick someone, if I could go in with my Jesus, that would be amazing. <laughs> so I pick Rylan. <laughs> I can't help smiling every time Pat talks. He's wonderful. <laughs> and, and, Paul, and Paul, also to um, Victor. Yeah. Victor, would you do another reality show like Celebrity in the Jungle or Strictly Come Dancing? Can you dance? Uh, <laughs> you yeah, learn yeah, off the yeah, show. yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I can. I got, I got one or two steps, though. A couple Nigerian uncle steps there that I can come out and show them how to do. You know what I mean? But um, I don't know. You know what it is. I'll be honest, man. I'm a mercenary, isn't it? You know, if you pay me right, That's if true. you come <laughs> to me, if you come to me and tell me and, and give. 
provide the correct conditions and the right financial compensation to me. I don't see why not. Do you know what I mean? But Victor, the problem... Victor, how, Victor, how has Big Brother changed your life up until now? I'm intrigued. Uh, yeah, that's, that's a complicated question. Without, without waffling too much, it, it, it kept me... I'll tell you what it did do, right? It gave me the first... No, it, it kept me from, from, from getting into trouble. That's yeah. what I'd say. Because oh, after Big Brother, I couldn't do anything that, that would... That, that wasn't strictly legal. Let's say that. I, I, I couldn't do anything <laughs> bad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like and, and, and there's the guy with a hat from Big Brother, isn't it? I mean, yeah. that's right. That's it's right. him. It's a pat. <laughs> too many pats. <laughs> it's him, innit? So, you know what I mean? It, it, it forced me to actually refocus and drive myself in, 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 in a way that I really should have been going in the first place anyway. Yeah, that's cool. That's good. 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 Big it's Brother was watching you. That's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> Denise honest. has got a question. Denise. Yeah, I first want to say that all you guys, what was said earlier, it's true that you guys made Big Brother. I mean, we. I remember staying up in the morning, uh, you know, just watching, watching you sleep, mm. waiting for someone to wake <laughs> up. Yeah. Something to happen. And <laughs> Bex, I've got a question for you. Are you still in Coventry? Me? Yeah. No, well, I moved to London and then I moved to Luton. Then I moved back to Coventry and I met my partner and we brought a house up in um, near Cannock. Do you know where Cannock is? Yeah, yeah. 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 So I just, I just bought a house there. So you so spin it in the Congratulations. Away. Congratulations, man. Well done. Well Brilliant, done. man. Guys, John I'm going to have to, I'm gonna have to run, you guys, because I've got to do a cameo somewhere else. You guys have kept me. Victor, no! I've been compelled. Thank you, bro. Victor, bro. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to do the rest of the guys' question. So, yeah, we'll go to John. Yeah, um, we all love Big Brother, and obviously you guys love Big Brother to go on it. Each one of you, could you tell us, when do you think Big Brother started going wrong? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. ah. I'm going to upset someone if I tell the truth. <laughs> Mike, <laughs> when? Tell the truth. Um, I think, and this is no respect, disrespect to her at all, because I really, really like the girl, but I think when Rachel won that sh Big Brother 9 and didn't want to carry she on the press, she was dull. <laughs> Obviously, uh, the the winner always has to carry the pr ha the press on, and Rachel didn't want to yeah. do that. And um, that's no disrespect to Rachel because I'm oh, really good with her now. Share that, but she didn't want to carry on. Bex, Bex, see Chloe. Chloe went back to work on the Friday yes. when she won Big Brother. On the Monday. 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 On the Monday. On the Monday. Yes. So she didn't want to carry on. So normally yeah. the winner carries all the press on, and and that they keeps the hype up. But because Rachel did not want to do that. There was no hype, there was nothing, and everyone was annoyed, you know. So, yeah. I think point. it was from that moment, but then Channel 5 just killed it off for me. Channel personally. Second Kat, Kat, can, we ask you? can we go to Rob first? I think Rob's yeah, got a question. I am here, but my screen's gone blank. <laughs> so Where are you? We can hear you, Rob. We can hear you. We, can hear you. we know okay. where you're like, two, two words um, for Kelly and D. Gary Busey. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. I mean, Dean's in the house. So, and as soon as we, as soon as we sort of start talking to Gary Busey, he told us that he was going to win it, and he had it written in his contract. Do you remember them words, Dean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that what he said? Really? A lot of people, and and this is our. Do you know what I'm saying? People say that I like. I had so much respect for that man, and I sat with him for hours, didn't I? Yeah, care? I didn't. Yeah, I, mean, I didn't. I had no time for him. It's, it's like, <laughs> we were 24 hour a day carers. He couldn't care for himself. He couldn't yeah, care for himself. He I mean, he used to sit there stark really? naked, didn't he? And uh, every bit was hanging <laughs> out, you know. Like, <laughs> Take his trousers down in the kitchen as well. To yeah, fix so right. yeah. 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 You want to see for the breakfast? I think I would not take our concerns on board. Dee, what about his hygiene? What about his hygiene levels? Have, his hygiene, his flames and orderly, brought Gary into a shower. They had to throw him into the shower seven days after he walked into that room. Wow. What? 
and you don't see that. It's like we have to create species off his arm. Oh, 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 oh my god! And, and that was the one thing why I got. That's why I got into the fight with his wife. You know, when I come out the house, you know, Cap. Because he was a dirty bastard. Why? Yeah, what fight? Well, security had to separate us, me and Gary. <laughs> Oh, I'm really pleased I asked that question. So yeah. Kelly, loving it. Look, the old box too much. No, no, but we, I mean, we must be the most, like, I had the same problem at the after, at the party at the end. So we, had, um, we had security standing between me and um, James Jordan and his wife. I mean, it was like... I know, so we must have had the most controversial <laughs> house. Like, like, no, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, Victor's, really Victor's gone, really but we've got dead. another fight night, I think. Well, definitely. <laughs> oh. I don't understand this. Obviously, we're seeing everything that's going on in the house. Their partners must know exactly them inside yeah. and out. Yeah. So what's the argument? You're it's dealing true. with them for X amount of days. They've been with them for years. No, the problem is you're not seeing everything that's going that's on in the house. Right. 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 Going back to the question earlier, where, sorry, sorry, Dee, going back to the question earlier where you said what destroyed Big Brother is when they started editing the show and picking out what they wanted yeah. to put in. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't it seeing the real characters. Yeah. It should be raw. I'm mm. not being funny. If I can just say, on final night, what everyone didn't see was Gary Boosie in a hotel on his own because his wife had pissed off to go out and party. And it was wow. me, James Jordan, George, um, who else? Adele. Uh, we're the ones that stayed up all night sitting with Gary, forfeiting spending times with our family because yeah. we didn't want him to be on our uh, on his own. Yeah. You know what's really it's sad with Gary Boosie? What was really sad with Gary Boosie is like, he was, you know, I used to look up at him, you know, he's under siege, he was a mm. girl, yeah. he was in so many movies, and to see him go into the house and it was almost like deteriorate, it either makes you or breaks you, basically. But and was that what he was like, really? That's, yeah. that's what he was there for. I yeah. think he was like that before he went in. Yeah, he was yeah. there. Right. I think that's what he was there for. I know, mm, yeah. but it's sad to see with all the movies that he was in, he was such a big star, and to see him go downhill. Yeah. He had lots See, of I reckon he wasn't was up the hill in the first place. Well, well, I was thinking that was the accident he had anyway, wasn't it? He had a bad yeah, um, um, accident. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. So, yeah. Dee, Dee obviously looked after him. Dee, you just and said something. That everybody did. Yeah. Go on, Theresa. Go on, Theresa. See, you said something um, a bit a bit ago about um, the drama in the house. Do you think that actually Big Brother started most of it? No, not at all. No, no. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> we as housemates started it. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Sorry, Bex. Sorry, I didn't hear what you said. And um, by the way, I know the housemate started it, but then yeah. we were also manipulated. To, and, mm. and we were put together for that reason, yeah, for personalities yeah. to clash. But the, can I just say one thing as well? When I mean that it, it killed Big Brother, I think, I mean, the normal Big Brother. Celebrity Big Brother carried on being amazing right up until the end, I, I think, yeah. personally. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So like D's year and things that I think that, that carried on being like amazing to watch. It was just a civilian year that was dead. And yeah. Yeah. It, it was when Dee went in there, she had a load of bad publicity. I didn't know her very well at all. I heard about her. And she went in the house, and I had the preconception of thinking, oh, it's Dee, like that. And I've met Dee since. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it was female. And by, the, and by the way, I live near you, Bex. Um, anyhow, you, but when you meet Dee, she's completely different. She's lovely. And now you think yeah. I wish he'd actually <laughs> won the show. Yeah. But Teresa, Teresa, a lot of us, a lot of us as box fans, we all <laughs> like each other, but we couldn't live together. No, I each other. I couldn't live with John. Who could live with John? Be on, put your hands up if you could live with John. I did it, sir. I don't know what you're doing. No, but we found we found this the other night, didn't we? I might we get a haircut. Hang on, hang on. Didn't we find this the other guy the other night when we had Alex Reed on? The public perception of what him when he went in, he got booed worse than anyone. He oh, came out, everyone lovely. loved him. Wasn't yeah. he such a nice guy? He stayed on here longer than anyone. And I'm going to tell you something. Just before we went on air tonight, I received a personal message from Alex Reed. He said, if you want me on for another show, I'll come on. 
I've got a question for the fans. If you think Big Brother was to come back, what would you like to see? New people going or un the underdogs of the past 20 years go back in from all different no. years? I think no, nobody should go back in. I think you nobody know, should go back in. You husbands. You husbands. What a great new one's going. Back back to what it was. I like the best of the best. Normal people. One at a time. Great. One at a time. Yeah. 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 next door type people. Same as what we've been watching for the last, you know, two weeks. You know what? Channel 4 is now. Channel 4 is now. We want normal people who are unique. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. We right. need that. But, uh, wait, can they do that? That would be amazing. My question is to Cookie. Cookie, do you still like cookies? Oh, she made some for Fox, didn't she? I, I think you've got um, audio. Oh, it's not the problem with me. Okay. Hey, can, ask, frozen. Hey, can I ask you something? Yes. Can Mr. Sapper. When, when you were in the show, and obviously you said about that you, you found it really difficult, did, you know, did you get the support after the show from the, from the producers that, that you felt that you needed? Because, you know, you hear so many things that are going on with people afterwards. Mm. And obviously you went through it in a difficult time. I actually had my own, um, my lawyer negotiated a very good contract for me. Um, I, I had two counsellors on call 24-7 and I was allowed to go up to the Big Brother room and talk to them. And I think I must have went up a couple of times a day. And if they saw me having a sort of lapses, which they never ever showed on TV. No, I, I think you up. saw a wee bit, a wee bit mm. of you. And I was called up to the Big Brother room and they had my counsellors on the phone. And, um, I, you know, as soon as I came out, my counsellors were there to meet with me and chat with me. I, 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 before I went in the house on the day, I, I didn't want to go in. I absolutely froze. And I was... I, I did that. <laughs> I, well, I drank sort of three bottles of wine, just like that, out of the bottle. And they, they, brought in, um, they brought in their, their own counsellor. And, you know, he gave me a couple of pills to calm me down. He sat talking <laughs> to me. And, um... No wonder I find you unconscious on the shiz. And I'm honest, I don't even remember the walk from the car because they pulled the car up and the council was sitting beside me and the council went, Kelly, this is entirely up to you. This door's going to open. You can get out of the car or you can stay in it and we'll drive straight on. And the door opened, and it was just like I automatically got out, and I just, uh, and that's you know I don't the even remember talking. Show us the You sound so Kelly, you are a fighter. That's what do you know what I mean? But do you sometimes wish that maybe you you know you might have wanted to stay in that car? Yeah, I I I, I did I did, but that, I'll be honest. When I came out, I did feel a lot stronger, and I do remember saying to Emma Watson when I was having the. The chat to her, I said, Emma Willis. Emma, Willis. Emma Willis, yeah. I, I remember saying to her that I, I, I take, I took um, the Big Brother house as um, as a as a clinic, and and it was I used it as therapy to develop myself and my personality. Mm -hmm. And as I said, I owe a lot of it to D, uh, Claire, um, Adele. And uh, and to Lauren, you know, I really but potentially do. you're and, in a better place now than if you hadn't have gone in the house then. Well, no, I think I think I would have developed anyway. But I mean, yeah. the problem is I developed in front of two. Of, the, the thing that I really like, and when I do I do a lot of transgender speaking and diversity speaking, and the thing I really like is is, is that people say to me, "Do you know something, Kelly? You help us understand one of the most difficult things that we can't your understand." Yeah. 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 Your yeah. greatest consolation. So that is, can I just so say that is the thing that I that is the only thing that that is the thing that I'm, I'm pleased that I went into house for because it, it, for that one reason it not only helped me and if you saw the letters and support I got from I get from other transgender people who are just coming out and everything else mm -hmm. it, it, I think to myself. 
well, maybe the house did do a lot for the, for the, my, my yeah. community. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. It did, I think. Yeah. 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 Can I just say, can I just say, yeah, no. um, Kelly, you are an inspiration to other people. Always. Sorry, Daniel, 100%. Wait, listen, guys. listen, Kelly, just remember that you might have had a bit of a struggle, right, mm. in the house, but you have changed other people's lives that watch that, that relate to you. So for that, yeah. you must always be blessed. Yes. That you are an inspiration, okay? I'm always Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Daniel, well said. Yeah. Denise, I think Denise had a question. Yeah, I've got a question for Dee. Because um, Dee, I watched you from Benefits and um, going into the house. I've also even seen you on the comedy um, with C, that's a friend of mine. And what I've noticed is you haven't changed from day one. You're exactly the same. You keep it real. I just love your spirit. Denise, honest to God, I absolutely love Mr. C, but I do think he, he really missold me, that comedy roast. I was thinking I was going for a great big chicken dinner. Oh, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> 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 I got a little bit of a roast and I'm off. I didn't realise I was going to get, well, I get the roasted. And oh. that thing. But, you know, there's no point changing. There's no, do you know what I'm saying? It's catch it. <laughs> you can put a front door, but you can't change. Exactly, and that's what I'm saying. It's like, you know, if people... Well, I don't really care if anyone likes me, to be fair, because... Stay good to yourself. We all like you. You've been making me laugh all day. You've been making me laugh all day. I'm voice note. I've been dying. <laughs> can we go back to Cat? See how sound is. Cat, say something. <laughs> How's your audio? Hello, cat. Is that all right? Oh. Someone asked that earlier. Your, your, your no. screen froze. Someone wanted to know, cat, whether you're still obsessed with cookies. Oh, yes. You can't get that away from life. Always oh, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. I love her. She just makes me smile so much. <laughs> Guys, do you just want a bag? Do you just want Big Brother back? Yes. Yes, I'm not going to any work. The host here. Oh. That is how we get paid to go on telly. We'll always want a fact. My only fact is going to the roof. Bex, if you come on BB Box, you can't get your tits out, sweet. I know. I, oh, my God. I don't do that for free. God. <laughs> on only fans. <laughs> only on only fans. <laughs> <laughs> That's not free viewing. <laughs> <laughs> But you have an answer. Do you guys want to back? Do you yes. want big yes? yes? Yeah, but I want it with normal yes. people. Mm -hmm. Normal people. I don't want any of this Love Island. No, mm -hmm. yes. Normal. I was a nursery nurse. Normal I want people to be people. Yeah, normal people. Or just loads of underdogs back in. I, I'd love to see people like people like Laura that went in and and like Nicola from Big Brother One. People like that. Anne, mm -hmm. that. Anne from Big Brother One should she should have won. Anne Nic from Big Brother One she should have won. Who? Anne from Big Brother One <laughs> she should have won. Sorry. <laughs> 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 I loved her. I loved her. I loved her. Can I ask a question? Do you think, okay, Bex, do you think that because Channel 4 had it originally, and we all thought how fantastic it was, it went a bit downhill in Channel 5, if Channel 4 take it back again, they'll make all the things so much better? Yeah, I think, I think what it is as well, you've got to imagine that Channel 5 owned uh, Television X, they owned the day, they owned TV. like a lot of glamorous and, and porn things. So that's why they used all of their all their people. So Channel 4 get it back, they're not going to put any of that kind of stuff on. It's going to be all normal people get their yes. sex back on. That's what we want to back on there. We don't <laughs> want to see sex, we want to see teens. Yeah, I don't want to see anyone having sex. We want to see, see more yeah. yeah. normal people. You know what? Last Boxes night. Back. Last what night, Kamal, <laughs> Kamal was amazing. And I was thinking, that's what I want to watch on the Come on, make some noise, you know? <laughs> Kamal, yeah, he was funny uh, last night, yeah. <laughs> I think Denise has got another question. Yeah, I've Go got on, a Denise. question for Kelly. Kelly, do you find that now you're happy with yourself? You're at peace with who you are now as a person? Yeah, I'm very much at peace. You know, I, I've sort of moved away. I don't live in the UK anymore. Um, I, I, I sort of take... 
I, I'm very picky in what I do. I still get offered quite, quite a lot of work, but I'm very sort of selective in what I do now. And um, I, I just live a very peaceful life. You know, um, I went through three years of being followed day and night by Paps. Um, I couldn't even go to dinner with friends because if I went to dinner with a friend, they were the new man in my life and it was splashed all over the paper. Um, you know, D, because I used to phone D and talk to D and say to D, I just wish I never, I wasn't put in this position. And, um, you know, it, it took me a long time. You know, I miss a lot of things from England, but I have three very um, beautiful daughters and be, who have been interviewed for certain reality shows and we've spoken. And they've actually declined them, um, and uh, and you know, but I don't I don't tell them to decline them. I actually tell them if they want to do them, do them. But I tell them the the pitfalls, and I also tell them they may be under more scrutiny than anyone because of who who their dad is. Because because I'm still their dad, no matter you know. Yeah, I'm really glad. Nally, I followed your journey. We bet um, on a lot of surgery. You had you you had a lot of trouble, especially <laughs> when you were getting theatres. I mean, and your family were there for you and all, you know. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, I've, 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 just, I've just signed a deal with a big, with an American production company that are doing a 90 minute um, feature documentary on my life up until now. Yeah. So they, they will show the Kelly, how I've developed and how I've become the person I am today. Yeah. 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 I, think, I think Sheila's got a question. It's for Kelly. Uh, when you entered the house, Kelly, um, you were, in your own words, terrified. And then before we knew it, you were like having little arguments with people, especially obviously James and um, uh, Frenchie and uh, <laughs> Stephanie. And all of a sudden you were like a, a little um, terrier, a little jack. No, that's everybody. what I was saying. I was still, I was still um, developing. And that, I, you know, I, I went in and you like, I, I refer to myself as two spirits. I refer to when I say two spirits, one spirit was a male that I've always that I was brought up as, and one was a female that was always fighting to get out and become the real me. And when I went in the house, then like I said, I'd have Frank on this shoulder and Kelly on this shoulder, and I tried mm -hmm. to take the good out of Frank because you know Frank was a bit of a little git and, um, <laughs> and that's why I'm saying, and, and the, that side that came up that the argumental side was frank because i, I always get said that. i, get I was that. in a, i was in a profession where yeah. which was um mm. a, a pond full of sharks when you take the likes yeah. of don king frank yeah. warren yeah. exactly Gore kelly is never going to be a pushover sorry <laughs> Frank or Kelly will never be a pushover. Kelly! Um, and and, I've, and I, I hopefully I've taken the best of Frank and mixed it with Kelly. Yeah. And, and Kelly, now I'm, you know. I've read, your thought, auto, I've read your autobiography. I know all about you. I know everything about you. I'm <laughs> impressed by the life you have led and that you're still leading. And I wasn't criticising you in the least. It was just an observation. No, no, you wasn't. No, you wasn't. But, but the difference was, when I used to get up with Frank Maloney, I'd look in the mirror and I'd just think, do you know what? I've got to put on this suit. I've got to go out and I've got to be someone I don't want to be. You know, <laughs> now I get up and I look in the mirror and I just look and I think, God, thank you for giving me this life. I've got another chance to live the person oh, I, I really am. You should yeah. be. No, yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> That's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> Kelly, can I just jump on the back of that question a second? Yeah. As long as it's not um, on my back. Yeah, go on. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to when you're back. You can hold them. Yeah. In, the, in the current events of the news <laughs> with breaking, and not forgetting that one of these guys, um, D gets very moist over, would you say Tyson Fury or AJ to win the upcoming bouts that are booked for next year? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Um, I, I, if Tyson, if Tyson Fury is one hundred percent fit and it's dedicated, I, I think Tyson Fury yeah. wins. Yeah. 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 I'm not. You know, AJ's done a great job, but AJ's been very well managed and yeah. very select. His mm. fights have been very well selected. Um, Reminds um, me very much of Frank Turner in the day of not being taught to stand say that, I was just going to say that he's actually um, a much more advanced um, 
Frank Bruno. He's got more skill than Frank. And Frank yeah. was one of the nicest people I've ever met and had the privilege yeah. of working with. Um, Tyson mm -hmm. Fury is one of the worst people I've ever had the privilege of working mm -hmm. with. And, uh. and, uh, but, Ty, but to give him credit, his boxing ability is amazing. And, you know, when he went to Russia and beat Klitschko, who was yeah. probably at his best then, it, it was an amazing feat. You know, I didn't think he would win it because... You know, I, I, I staged him in a fight with a, a fighter from um, East London called John McDermott. The f and in the first fight, to this day, yeah. I actually know John McDermott won that fight and we were robbed. And yeah. I was quoted and I was disciplined by the Board of Control because I said, do you know what? At least when Dick Turpin robbed you, he wore a face mask. You know, yeah. it was, um... he, too, he too was on a journey, though. You look at Tyson Fury's journey and where he's been, mm -hmm. what he went through and where he is now. I absolutely hold my hands up to him, honestly. Yeah, he, he, he does correct himself, you know, but he, I, I think the problem with Tyson is a bit like when I was Frank, and maybe that's what you're saying, the journey. Our, our mouth comes into gear before our, before our brain enters gear, yeah. and, and you say the first thing that comes out of your mouth. I mean, you know, Tyson's been known to criticise women. Um, he's been known to criticise the gay community. Jeez. He's he's definitely yeah. attacked the transgender community, you know. Um, but then you are a product of your society. I always believe that. Yeah. You know, I don't think anyone born, any child born with hate, um, yeah. prejudice, yeah. or yeah. or race. Mm -hmm. You, you're every child is born yeah. with love, but it yeah. is the product, you are brought up in the society that you're brought up in. You know, he I was also born, has he also has a lot of prejudice against him because of where he came from. Mm -hmm. Well, travellers do have a lot of prejudice, yes, because, you know, I, I mean, I had pubs in my career, in my life, and, you know, if travellers came in the pubs, my regulars would go mad, but I yeah, used to say, do you know what, the colour of their money is as equivalent to the colour of your money, so it doesn't matter. Right. Mm -hmm. can, I, can I just say, right, so Mike Tyson is coming back. What about Mike Tyson versus Tyson Fury? Is he really? yeah, yeah, Mike Tyson, Tyson must be 100 years old. <laughs> I was just poor Mike is very you know let it fight, fighters um miss the adulation of the ring, you know, when their time's up. Um, you know, like yeah, Frank yeah. admits that and that's why he had his mental breakdown. Mm -hmm. You know, if they if they're not prepared to, the body is willing, but the mind uh, sorry, the mind is willing, but the body will yeah, never yeah. let him come back. Mm -hmm. Tyson Tyson is fifty six to be honest, and he, he, he couldn't come back today. He's too small as well. I mean, you've only yeah. got to look at the size of AJ and Tyson Fury compared to mm -hmm. what, what, what Tyson Fury, what uh, Mike Tyson is. Kelly, get away from the sports. Hard thing, yes, sir. I don't know what's going on with you the boxing. Over for holidays? Sorry, say that again? Yeah, get away from the sport. How big is your villa? I'm come, baby. Boss, come over and stay. As long as you don't mind putting a few tents up in one of, in the field. I don't mind. No, I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind. <laughs> he, knows, he knows my villa. He's been, they stayed at my villa, haven't you, Dean? <laughs> she made you a cocktail. She <laughs> made me a lot of tea, you know. She's very. I, I actually, it was Dean's tea that kept me going in the house. <laughs> oh. That sounds like a brand, these tea. Has anyone yeah, yeah. got any more questions for any of the housemates? I just glad you've been here. Amazing. Mm. You know what? You've been absolutely amazing. Um, I, this, this has been even better than I thought it was going to be tonight. Uh, you know, we had five of you on and it was absolutely brilliant. I, 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 if, if, you, if you're all done, I just want to say a few words to wrap up what we've done the last two weeks. Um, I'll, say, I'll say something yeah. after as well. Paul. Do you want to say first, Daniel? Uh, no, you go I'll first. Say, I'll say something after, it's fine. You, you sure? Because I'm finishing on something. Okay, so basically... La, 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 la. Uh, basically <laughs> I just want to say, I know I've said it before, but thank you to everyone. Like I, I, you know, obviously a few words were said at the beginning and I didn't know if we were going to do this. I didn't know how it was going to be, but it has just gone from strength to strength. The fact everyone has been here every night while the show's on. Um, and, and you know what? It's, I think this has brought us closer together um, than when we was on Big Brother. And the fact that we have a lovely guests on and, Mm -hmm. it's honestly it, like I, I said this before but it, I feel proud that I managed to get everyone together and, yeah you should be and, 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 and well done Daniel and, and I have to say Paul, Paul honestly 
I could what a star. have you. You have been a star. Brilliant. Now, let, let me say, I, just, I wrote down a few little words just to finish us off the two weeks. Don't make me cry. cry. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> this, this, started, this started as Daniel Halawi's dream. And, and ten, 10 shows later, with the guests we've had on, we've, we've actually, from not knowing any of the housemates, we've had 23 housemates, of which there were three yeah. civilian winners, four civilian runners-ups, and one celebrity Big Brother winner. And as I said, Alex Reed just messaged to say, come on again, you know, so we wow. I ended up, listen, I ended up hosting this. this. I ended up hosting this by default and, and I've absolutely loved it. And I <laughs> thank you guys. Um, I'd, I'd like to just to thank you to tonight's guests, obviously Victor, who's uh, left, left the Zoom room, but Kelly Maloney, <laughs> you, you've been Yo! unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, Kelly, yeah. I just, I just, I just want to apologise. I think right at the very top of the show, I did say him, and I don't know if you. Oh, come that's, that uh, at listen. All. For sixty years, I was a him, so I forgive you. Yeah, I do apologise <laughs> for that slip up, though. That's don't Obviously. worry, don't worry. D, D Kelly, you've been amazing. You were our first celebrity <laughs> guest, and, and <laughs> you did. Thank you so much for coming back uh, Rebecca Ben China. Um, I will take you up on that 50% offer if my wife allows me. <laughs> <laughs> um, and and, and Kat, cookies, Kat, you, you just make Cookie. me smile so much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what we need to do, guys, we need to finish on a chorus of BB Bots. So I'll start you off. BB Bots. BB Bots. BB Bots. Thank you a lot. Can we do this again? Yeah, see, we do. Yeah, see, we do.